Just waiting for the safari kids. I'm really excited. We're going to start building our model for the hand home today. And not today too soon. I'm sure the poor chickens will be very excited to have a home of their own. We were going to make the shelter together, Harry. Harry couldn't wait any longer. Look. Oh, hello, everyone. Hi, Chakitanu. Ah, Hi. Harry, I see you've been busy. What have you got there? Well, I know you said we were going to start building the shelter today, but I found some materials at home and got busy. But if you don't like it, <laughs> Wait a I minute, can... let's have a closer look. Mmm, it looks good. Remember when we're making, it's very important to measure accurately. Did you work to scale? And can you all remember what we decided about what the size of the shelter should be? Yes, I do. The shelter needs to be six chickens wide, mm -hmm. so they have enough space to sit on the perch. But only two chickens long. That's right. And what does that make the measurements in centimeters? Remember, we said one chicken is four centimeters wide. It will be six times four centimeters wide, which will give me mm, 24 centimeters wide. And it will be two times four centimeters long, which will be eight centimeters long. I think mine's about that size. Do you see how the back part is higher than the front part? Why did you do that? Well, my dad said it's better because when it rains, the rain will run off the roof. Why do you have two doors? See, there's one in the front and in the back. Well, the chickens need to get in and out, so I put a door there. But people also need to get in to clean the place. So, the there's a bigger door at the back for Trakatanu to get in and out to sweep. Why, thank you. Actually, that mess is very useful. I can add it to my compost. You've really thought carefully about this, Harry. Well done. This looks good, Harry. But I wonder if it will fall down like the kennel. <laughs> <gasps> so, what's going to fall apart now, huh? Oh, no! Those poor hens! Check I better do something about this quickly. What, what, huh? I think the hens should just sleep on a branch and make their own nests like other birds. Yeah, sure. What, what? So, do you realize that you've built a structure, Harry? And do you all remember what we said about well-built structures? A structure should be strong and stable. You're right. And did you think about that when you built your shelter, Harry? I took some ideas from when we built our fence. This is also a frame structure. I started off by making a frame with the dial sticks. I measured them and glued them together. I used cardboard triangles to make sure the corners were strong and stable. Then I re-measured the frame when it was dry to make sure what size I had to make the cardboard that I've used to cover the frame. I measured and cut the pieces of cardboard making space for the doors. I had checked the cardboard and reshaped it to fit exactly. Then I glued them on. How did you get your doors to open like this? Did you fold the cardboard? It's so hard to fold cardboard. It's so stuff. No, my dad showed me how to score cardboard. It's a special way of cutting cardboard. What do you mean by score cardboard? Well, you get a sharp knife and you cut a little way into the cardboard along a line. Then it's really easy to fold. But you must make sure you don't cut through the cardboard, else it'll come off. <laughs> <laughs> You've done very well. Later, the others will help you decorate it and paint it. But now, let's design and make the nesting box next. Why do chickens need a nesting box? Let's ask the old tree. Hello, everyone. I've had lots of birds making their nests in my branches, but not hens. The thing is, nesting boxes are very important to hens. They feel a lot safer laying their eggs where wild animals can't get at them. Many years ago, when chickens walked around free, they had to find somewhere safe. But now, with chickens living in a yard, 
There is nowhere safe to lay eggs, and that is why it is important to build nesting boxes. So the hens need to lay the eggs in a nesting box. But why can't they just lay the eggs in a shelter? I suppose they could, but that might cause some problems. Do you know what those problems might be? Mm. Well, if they lay the eggs with the others up, maybe someone will stand on them? Yes, true. So if they have a separate box where they lay their eggs, do they go in there one by one or do they go in there all together? That's um, hard to say. So we should make the nesting box big enough for all of them in case they all go in together. Good idea. I was thinking of saving some money here. Maybe we can take some old containers and reuse them as nesting boxes. Reuse? My teacher last year told us about reduce, reuse, and recycle. What do you mean? We don't always have to use new materials to make new things. Look at this glass here, for example. Hey, that's part of a bottle. It's been reused as a glass. That, that's so clever. Instead of just throwing something away, it can be reused to make something new. That's right. Sometimes something that's not useful anymore for one thing can be reused to make another thing. Glass, for instance, is also recycled. I mean, it can be melted down and be reformed into new glass containers. Perhaps we can reuse some things today. Take a look here. I've collected some things that people normally throw out. So can we use some of these things for our nesting box? Good idea. And then later you can help me think of the things I can use for my hand home too. <gasps> I've got an idea. Hello, this is Peto and Marpeto. And today we're gonna learn how to make products out of uh, the re recycled material. Here I am having the, the lid. And this is, uh, it's just a flat plastic. And even this one is a flat black plastic and the white one. You just choose any color that you want to use. Like, um, on, on, on this tree, I used uh, uh, different colors to make it colorful, to, so that it can be vibey. Marvin. Yes, Marvin, yes. Someone stolen my blanket. What are you talking about? You, your blanket's on your bed. No, not that blanket. That blanket. What blanket? My blankie, my blanket. The one I like to hold when I go to sleep at night. What? You mean that old blanket you had when we were babies? Yes! Marvin, we are grown up now. I didn't know you still use that blankie. I'm blanket. But I do! Oh, dear. <laughs> um, uh, I cut it up into pieces. But, but why? Why, 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 why
Why? Well, I wanted to recycle it. I didn't think you needed it anymore, so I turned it into cleaning cloths. <laughs> oh. My blanket! My blanket! Sorry. Cleaning cloths! No! Marvin. No! no! Sorry, Marvin, sorry. Marvin, Marvin, I really didn't think you used it anymore. And it's always good to recycle things so you don't waste them. Oh, oh. My blanket! My oh. blanket! Marvin! Marvin! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. My blanket! Okay. My blanket! Okay. My blanket! Marvin! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, oh. I see you've used an egg box to make a nesting box. Yes, it'll be a perfect place for our model hens to lay their eggs. And I found some shredded paper here in the workshop. It's nice and comfortable in there now. <laughs> and we've cut in the Lydia so that there are places for the hens to get inside. It's nice okay. and cozy in there. All right, and you've put this on a base so that it's off the ground? Yes, that way it'll keep them warm and safe. Guys, please pass me that. Okay, here you go. And yes, a little ramp. Your nesting box looks good, but how are you going to stick this together? Uh, yeah, here's some parcel tape. Mm, but it's too wide. We need small strips. I'll help you cut it. Good idea, but there's still quite a lot to do, you guys. I think Harry and Yoli should get going with the fence. Can you get going with that, guys? Yeah, we can. We've already talked about this before, and we need to make sure it's the right size. And we worked with those blocks last time. probably need to do some finishing work. Oh, hang on. We need containers for the hens, food and water. And we also still need to decorate these. You know what? Let me see what paint I have and then you can make them look really good. Two seconds. Would you like some help, Chicken Sunny? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. Let's have some jacks for you to dip your paint brushes in and decorate away. I think Harry would love to do his own and you two Harry? will work together to make your nesting box look good. Harry, can I help you with this? Okay. Okay, what color should we paint it? Um, you can move over closer to her. You can pass the paint around. I'll help you should open Should we do it them. like green things? Why don't we put grass and then chicks on it? Okay. Tunnel. Yes, ma'am. Do you have an extra paintbrush? Uh, we don't have extra. You guys will have to share. Okay. You can turn it around so you can go move on to the next side. String and cardboard and glue. Safari kids are making more than hope for hands. Make sure that you could make that too. Everything you've heard here really makes sense. It's time to build your model to scale. What cut String you can also reduce, reuse, recycle. You've built an environmentally friendly thing. You've investigated the need. You've designed your plan. You've made your model. Hey, you're the man. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> yeah, now the hens will have somewhere to sleep, somewhere to lay their eggs, and they'll have a fence around them to make sure they are safe. The safari kids have recycled lots of material so nothing is wasted. What a good idea. What, what? <laughs> The Safari Kids seem to be doing very well with their models. I wonder if you can make one too. Try reuse and recycle containers, bottles and holders when you're making your models. Bye for now. Bye! Bye. With some string and cardboard and glue Safari Kids are making more than hope for hands Make sure that you could make that too Everything you've heard here really makes sense. It's time to build your model to scale. With cutboard paper and string, you can also reduce, reuse, recycle. You've built an environmentally friendly thing. You've investigated the need. You've designed your plan. You've made your model. Hey, you're the man.